Oh, hi everyone. Have I got a treat for us today? We are here in a real live commercial kitchen at the Crown Plaza and I've got Adrian with me and he is going to share what happens in menus and behind the scenes. Yeah, well. How are you, Adrian? I'm great, thank you. Lovely to be here. Hey, since you come to my place, you'll have to wear this. Oh my goodness, my own chef's penny. No, what is it? Jacket. Oh, it's a jacket. Yeah, well, now I feel jacket. like I'm a real chef, do you think? I've seen you cook, you're pretty good. Hey, that's the right answer. Right, so what are we doing today? Okay, so we've got a bit of a seasonal dish going on here, okay. So I've got some salmon, sorrel, beetroot, and some millet. Okay, so I'm just going to start with the salmon. I'm going to pan fry that. Okay. Yep. So is this something that somebody could easily do at home? Because you chefs are a bit flash. Uh, very easy to do at home. Like, the prep work sort of took me, say, 15 minutes. Um, it's all in your prep. You yeah, know. it is, isn't it? Yeah, you get it, it is. Sorted. So I'm noticing that you're putting the fish with the skin side down. Is that nice? Do you have to do that for a reason? Well, the reason I'm doing that is to get that initial heat from the pan, okay? So I want that skin to be as crispy as it possibly can be. Okay. Yeah. And so, is the oil under the skin? Am I right in saying yeah, that? Yeah, it, it is. So that heats it up and brings it to speed. Yes, exactly. Sweet. So you've got some beetroot. Yes. Beautiful at this time oh, of year. Oh yeah, I love this time of year myself. I, no, I sort of, I'm, I'm a South and boy. You know, I love, I love the seasons. Beetroot, fantastic. Really earthy flavours. Sorrel, quite citrusy. Um, oh, I don't think I've ever had sorrel. Oh, I've really? looked at it and thought, oh, what do you do with that? Oh, it's very good for you. Is it? Yeah, yeah. So, well, it, it's, I'm just going to chop that up and it won't actually get heated. It'll be cooked through the resi residual heat yeah. um, of the salad, okay? And we've got the millet here as well. Millet. Now, millet's one of the ancient grains? Yeah, it is one of the ancient grains, yeah. I love it. So how do you prepare that? Okay, so what I've done is it takes about two parts of uh, liquid to one part of the millet, okay? And I've just boiled it. Yeah, and it's just like the absorption method, pretty much. So, like as if you were doing rice? Exactly the same sort of method. You do actually have to sort of go through it. There could be, there could be sort of little pebble or something through it. It's quite, it's quite a raw product, you know. And is that grown here in New Zealand, or uh, does it no, come from somewhere else? Yeah, well, originally it's from, from North Africa, okay, so it comes, it's from over there. Yeah, so ancient I, grain. Very, very good for you. It's quite nutty, quite sweet. It, which will match the sorrel, well, the, the sourness, sort of citrusy taste of the sorrel. And how hard is it for you as a chef when all the new seasonal vegetables come in, trying to mix and match them? So you, do you have a, like a, a good understanding of how the foods work? Is that how it works? Because I never know what to put with what. Yeah, yeah, we do. Look, we really look forward to the changes in the season. Yeah, the new stuff coming through. It, it's what sort of inspires us as well. Keeps it fun. And so how long does a salmon that, that size take to cook? Yeah, well, this is probably going to take us, say, four to five minutes, to be honest. Um, but it's just going to be done in the pan. See that nice and crispy oh, there? Oh, yes. I'll leave it there for, say, another minute, and then I'll put it aside and leave it to rest, and it'll keep on cooking uh, with the residual heat of that pan as well. Well, another question I want to ask you when yeah. it comes to resting. Yes. Is there a rule of thumb for the amount of time it's been cooking, for the amount of time it needs to rest? Yeah, say a small piece of fish like that cooks for, say, five, you can rest it for four to five as well. There's no problems there. Well, so far, this looks easy. I can I can achieve this. Oh, you yeah, too no, can. It's very easy to do at home. You know, you can even do the salad. You can have the salad just by itself at home as well. Oh, if you've got a, a, a vegan friend, vegetarian friend. Yeah, I hate it when you get the old vegan friends oh, coming over because they're like, there. what? Yeah. And it's the vegetarian friends. It's so difficult. Yeah, I'm just going to seal the side of that as well, and then I'm going to take that off and it, and it can rest, okay? And is this a dish that you would have on the menu here? Um, look, getting into the season now, there's no reason why we can't, actually. It's, just, it's one of those dishes that we like to do. It's just quick and easy and really fresh, as good as your ingredients with this one. So I'm just going to need a little bit of heat in here. These induction um, plates are fantastic. Aren't yeah, well, I'm just looking at my little gas one and thinking maybe I might just change my mind and decide it's quite a good thing. The gas one works fairly well all the same. It does, like, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. I'm not complaining. Okay. So a little bit of oil goes into yeah, the pan. Yeah, a little pan. bit of oil So The beetroot will soak that up a little bit as well. And I want to get the nutty flavour out of the millet too, okay. so I'm, I'm going to cook that a little bit as well, OK? So just getting a little bit of heat off that. I don't want it bubbling, you know. It's just a warm sort of a salad, you know. I'm not, I'm not actually cooking it. And so when you did that beetroot, how did you do that? Yeah, I boiled it with the skins on, actually. Boiled it with the skins on, and then once it was cooked right through, peeled the skin off, and then I've just, as you can see, I've just no, I cut it into wedges. And how do you keep your head, what do you do to stop your hands going There's red? No real, no real secret. Gloves. I just use gloves. It's a shame. No. Yeah, no, it's, it's fine. So 
I'm just sort of chucking those two together there. You're going to get the redness of the beetroot come through. That's just the way it is, okay? Just nice sort of... Let's way. call it love food, the beautiful colour yeah, of yeah, pink. Exactly, why not? Love food, I like that. Love food. Okay, I'm just going to sort of chiffonade this. So roll chiffonade. It. There's a new word. <laughs> roll it into a cigar and just... Is that what a chiffonade is? Yeah. If you can hear lots of noise in the background, everyone at home, it's because this is a busy kitchen and we are here probably at the wrong time of the day and they're probably getting ready for service tonight, are they? Yeah, they are. They look, they're good kids. They'll, um, they'll keep quiet behind us. Okay, look at that. In there, take that off. A little bit of salt and pepper. Okay, sorrel in. Oh, this looks delicious and so easy. This would be great for a Sunday lunch. Perfect, perfect lunch dish, to tell you the truth. Um, quick and easy, and a good sized portion for lunch as well. Okay, so I'm just going to plate that up there. It's so much easier though when you do it. <laughs> do you want to just come and live at my house and just do my cooking? Uh, it's sure. sure. I've decided that when I'm really rich and famous, yep. which may not be this lifetime, I am going to have a chef in because I think it'd be so much easier. Would you really want your cousin to tell her? Yes, Adrian, keep it in the family. Sure. Is okay. that it? No, not quite. We've got a gremolata here. So gremolata. What? What's gremolata? Parsley. Par um, it's, there's garlic and lemon in there with a little bit of olive oil, okay? And this Great just food. like sets the whole thing. Yep. Oh, look at that. Done. Hey. Ta da! In what? Six minutes, seven minutes? Yep, six or seven minutes. Easy Perfect. Adrian, thank you so much. You're welcome. And I hope you enjoyed that. Food in a minute, really, isn't it? Thanks for coming to my place. Oh. <laughs>